us. Welcome to our second episode of the 2019-20 school year. This episode is going to be a good one. Sure is. Hey Liv, I'm kind of hungry. Wow Millie, isn't that just conspicuously convenient? So convenient that it brings us to the question of the day. What food would you build your house out of? Buffalo, Buffalo chicken, chicken dip. Come. I would build my house out of beets. Just out of pizza. Blueberry pancakes. Gingerbread men. Gingerbread man. Be Swedish fish. Pasta. The bacon. The Oreos. Prime rib. French fries. Cornbread. Gingerbread. Jello. The M&Ms. Out of fruitcake. Chocolate chip cookies. Starburst. Pocky sticks. Out of chocolate. French toast. Chicken. Oatmeal, because once that stuff dries, it's indestructible. Mashed potatoes. Out of candy. Cheesecake. Pasta salad. Jello. Mozzarella sticks. Orange peels. Doritos. Marshmallows. Chocolate. Cheez Its. Chicken. <laughs> Bagel. Bananas. A sandwich. Marshmallows. Strawberry Eggo waffles. Peanut butter. Pop tarts. Ice cream. Jello. Gummy bears. Gingerbread. Potato chips. Aha blast. Pretzels. Chocolate. Mac and cheese. Those were some great answers, guys. Yeah, but what the heck is a pocky stick? I have no idea. Did you hear that? I think it's poll time. Yay! Our poll question is, what is your favorite sport? Hello, my name is Luke, and today I'm asking which sport do you prefer? Football. Basketball, because I know how the rules work. Soccer! <laughs> football, because I like the pace of the game and the speed. I prefer football. I prefer football. Football, because I really think it brings the whole school together when we all go to the games. Soccer. Unified basketball. My favorite sport is soccer. Football. Football. It's football. Basketball. Soccer. <laughs> Baseball. Because it's fun to watch and I really like the Red Sox. Hockey because it's also fun to watch and I actually understand it. Thank you to everyone who participated in the poll about the five major sports. Soccer, football, hockey, baseball, and basketball. Football won with two types of votes as the second most voted thing in the poll. Email us if you have any suggestions, and we will see you next game. Out of those sports, mine's definitely football. How about you, Mill? Ooh, that's a hard one, but I'd have to go with either football or basketball. Okay, I guess we're part of the crowd. Moving on, for this episode, we decided to ask students their opinion on the new fourth lunch. Melly, what are you th your thoughts on this? Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan, but let's see what everyone else has to say. My opinion on fourth lunch is it's pretty good. Makes lunch block go a lot faster. I think that fourth lunch is very unnecessary. Personally, uh, I don't like the fourth lunch because it uh, takes away time from uh, every other lunch and uh, you don't get enough time to hang with your friends. I don't like it. <laughs> I personally do not like fourth lunch because I do not like to eat later. Well, I feel that fourth lunch is good and bad. Good, so that way there's a little bit more time for the kids to eat, but bad for us in the kitchen because um, we don't have a lot of time to clean up or even like get ready to um, make lunches too. Having them really like close together, the lunches, one right after another is really hard. Honestly. Fourth lunch, fourth lunch ain't all that. It's just like once you get to fourth lunch, it's just there's no food left. I hate fourth lunch. Riddance. All that food talk is m making me even hungrier. Same here, I could really go for a- Millie, we need to stay on task here. Our next segment is one you should definitely pay attention to if you want some awesome computer tips. Hello, I'm Mr. Hudson, welcome to the Tech Center. I'm here to tell you about a tech tip that I think you'll find useful. A lot of students come in asking for passwords to have an app installed, and that's not the procedure we use for apps requests. What we have is a form on the Hovington website, and I'll show you how to do that today. You're going to click on District Departments. You're going to select Technology Services. You're going to scroll all the way down to the Student Help Desk. If you haven't logged in before, it's going to ask you to log in. You would use your network credentials, so the same thing you would use to generally log into your computer or to log into the Wi-Fi. Um, at the top over here is the student app request form, and on here you'll fill out the application name. You'd write in a description of what the app is. Um, you'd put a purpose in here, and it's okay if it is for entertainment, whatever the uh, category is, you select in here. And then you would put in the link to the app you're trying to install. And you just click submit that will be submitted to us for review and if it's approved 
We'll add it into self-service and then you would be able to install that yourself, no password required. Now I can get even more apps on self-service. Yeah, thanks. And for our final segment, we have a special one. Yeah, Anna's talking to international students, finding out some differences between school life there and here at HHS. What's your name and where are you coming from? I'm Madalena and I come from Italy. My name is Julia and I come from Italy. My name is Sri, I'm from Vietnam. My name is Matteo Gambino and I'm coming from Italy. What is the biggest difference between HHS and your school and hometown? I think the fact that I have to change the class every time. I think all of the, all of the different subjects that we have here. Their classes are different. Um, we don't stay as a class in every subject, so that is a big change. The biggest difference is the people. Tell me two things you miss from the school in your hometown. Uh, teacher and classmates. I think I only miss my friends. Definitely my friends and teachers. I don't miss absolutely nothing. What has HHS what your school do not have? Uh, for lunch. HHS TV. Uh, they have kind of better food okay. here. Probably a lot of teams, a lot of activities, a lot of nice people that join together and do things. And now it's time for Have You Seen This? Congratulations to Ambrose for finding the location of last week's image. We'll be in touch with a new prize. Everybody else, here's a picture of somewhere in HHS. Have you seen this? Send us an email for your chance to win. And see everything we do at hhs.today. And tell us how we're doing at hhstv at hillers.org. That's it for our show. Hope you enjoyed. Have a happy Hopkinton Day. We, we out. out. <laughs>